Welcome back to your channel again. In this video, I'm going to show you how we program different indicator in uh, MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5, and what is the differences between them. Uh, here we have two windows. The first one, uh, the right one is for MetaTrader 4, and the left one is for MetaTrader 5. Uh, it is Meta Editor 5 and Meta Editor 4. For example, I want to show you first for RSI, how we uh, how we implement RSI and calculate RSI in MQL4. Uh, to do so, I will just uh, write down IRSI, and there is a predefined function for that. Uh, and with when we open the first the first prompt is uh, it asks for string symbol. What is the string? We say symbol. And then the second parameter is time frame. We can say period current, for example, for this time frame. Then int period, for example, we want to have RSI 14. We enter it like that. Then applied price, we say uh, price close. And then shift, if it is zero, it is for the first candle. It calculates RSI for the first candle, one for second candle, two for third candle. Uh, for example, zero. This is how we calculate RSI in MetaTrader 4. If I double click on it and press F1, the help window will be open for us. And it is very important to notice that here, this function return a double. It returns as the RSI as a double variable, but it is just a one a double variable, only one. But if we exactly implement this one in MQL5, I, R, S, I, and the first one is the symbol, we can say symbol like that, then period current, then uh, wing average period, for example, 14, applied price, uh, price close, then we don't have shift here. In MQL4, 5, we don't have shift to calculate it for first, second, or third candle. And uh, the more important thing is actually if we double click on it and press F1, in the help section, we see that it is integer it doesn't return us the RSI exactly. And uh, it's not as easy as MQL4. This was very simple in MQL4, but it was not object-oriented programming. But here in MQL5, uh, we are using classes and structures to program. So how we write this code here? Uh, I wrote it myself. I go to the include, and uh, here I have an include named most common includes. I show you what are they, but now we just move, I have wing average calculator, MACD calculator, and RSI calculator. I copy all of them and add them to the button of this script here like that. This is RSI. I have a function named RSI calculator to calculate RSI. I wrote them based on the articles in MQL5 website. Uh, first, we define an RSI array to creating array for price. Then, identi uh, identifying RSI properties with doing RSI, RSI predefined function. So this predefined function is not like MQL4 to calculate RSI and return its value, but it identifying RSI properties here is not written correctly. Then we sort price array, array set as series. This array here we change it to seri, and then identifying expert advisor, we use this buffer to put all of these RSIs that were calculated here into this area and then we return the value by this shift what does this buffer copy buffer do it transfer all the values in this rsi diff 
here we calculated into this RSI area, which we changed it to series. And then I normalized it and choose the one RSI that we entered here in this function. And I want to normalize it by double digit. I don't want to have more than two digit. So this is how this RSI is calculated with this function. For moving average, it's exactly the same. We define area, we define uh, the function by I moving average. We then uh, change this area to a series, and then we use buffer to transfer all variables, values of moving average dev into moving average area. And then we choose the one that we want because it calculates it calculates it for 10 previous candles by shift we choose which of these 10 previous candles we want it if we change this buffer number it will for example if we change it to 20 it will calculate it for 20 previous candles and here we have it for moving average macd calculators too with this different that here this function can calculate both histogram and signal line for MACD indicator. Uh, when we add them, we just try to write, write a code for all of the for all of these three uh, indicators. Double, for example, uh, value RSI. It is equal to RSI calculator. We say symbol. We can say just like uh, underline symbol or say symbol like that. Uh, both of them are the same. Then period current, then int period. I want it to be 14. And shift, it's very important. I want to calculate RSI for the second candle. The first candle number is 0. The second one is 1. The third one is 2. And buffer, by default, it is 10. It calculates RSI for the previous 10 candle, candles. If it is 10 for the shift, I cannot enter 11. So, uh, I, for example, I can say 20. We change the buffer, but by default, the initial value for a buffer is 10. And I can calculate value for moving average. It is equal to, again, I call the function for moving average calculator, this function, the first one, but this, uh, sorry, I called MACD, moving average calculator, moving average. Then the first one is symbol. I use this symbol like that. Then time frame, current time frame, then period, for example, 10, then shift one, and I want it to be moving average, simple, simple moving average. The mode, I want it to be moving average. I want to apply it to the close. I want to do calculation based on the close price. And the buffer, I want it to stay 10. So because it's 10, I don't put it there. I don't uh, insert it. Then I define double uh, histogram. MACD it is equal to MACD calculator. The first vari variable, the first input, if it is true, it means calculate the histogram. If it is false, it means calculate the signal. And the second input is symbol, period current. I want to do the calculation for closes. I can do the for high, low, median. Uh, open to what I want to calculate for close. Usually we do it for the closes. Uh, then the, move, the fast moving average one, I want it to be 10. The slow moving average, I want to be 20, for example. Then the signal, I want it to be 5. Shift, I want to do all this calculation for, for example, the third candle. The first candle 0, the second candle 1, the third candle is 2. And buffer, for example, I want be to be 50. As I mentioned in the previous videos, usually we don't need 50. We don't want to occupy a lot of memory of our system. So normally 10 is all right, which is by default 10. But I just want to show you that you can do whatever you want. And then we calculate 
a signal of MACD. It is equal to, again, we call MACD calculator, but the first input, instead of true, we want, we insert false. False for signals. We say false. Then current symbol, price current, close, uh, fast moving average, for example, again, 10, 20, and 5. And uh, shift, I want to calculate the signal for first candle. If I insert 0, it will fluctuate like that. Whenever the price changes, the signal line changes too. So that's why usually we don't use the first one. But just in case, but because of educational purposes, we insert 0 here. And the last one, which is the buffer, still I want it to be 10 and close. This is how we call. This is how uh, I use these functions that I wrote by myself, of course, based on the articles in MQL5 websites to calculate all the indicators. You can find the, arti the articles for all the indicators and write your functions for them. Uh, and uh, the last point, instead of just adding these functions to all of your code every time that you want to use them, I suggest you to use includes. How the includes work? We just press new here, open include here, next. What is the name of the includes? For example, I call I call it indicators. Finish. This is our include. How does it work? The functions that I use them a lot, and they are indicators, I copy all of them and paste them here in my includes. When I paste them, I compile it. And now in the test that we wrote all of our code, you know, if I compile it right now, we don't have any error because the functions that are used in the main body are written and defined here uh, in the button of the uh, function of the code. So, but if I compile it now, we will have uh, lots of errors because these functions that we are calling them are not defined there and the uh, code doesn't know where to find them. We should give the code an address where you can find this RSI calculator, this moving average calculator, or this MACD calculator. To do so, we define an indicator include here. We copy this part indicator.mqh and at the beginning of our code we just uh, write uh, we just write include this signs and put this indicators.mqh if i compile it now we wouldn't have any error if i we don't have it if we just say signal MACD, it doesn't bring MACD calculation, for example. MACD calculation, there is no MACD calculator. There is no MACD calculator because uh, the com it doesn't know where to, the cal compiler doesn't know where to find it. But if I add this include indicator.mqh, again, if I say MACD, uh, if I say MACD, it knows where MACD calculator is because we define its include. And in any our expert advisor, we can just add this include and we can have access to all those indicators. We just write them once and we will use them forever. So that was the whole subjects of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do not forget to hit the like button. So you will help us to be introduced to others who are interested in these topics. And if this is your first time watching our channel, please click on subscribe and hit the, uh, the bell button so whenever you upload a new video you will receive a notification i wish you good day goodbye